Yeah, buddy. What's good? YouTube, YouTube, what's good? How is everybody doing? Let's get some live people up in here. Hope y'all can see me. See if the light shined away. Let's see here. Oh, it's got to stay on. Why won't it? Right about there. Hey! <laughs> oh, there we go. We got some people coming in now. Hold on, I gotta change my uh, change my lighting. <clears throat> How's it be doing? Thanks for swinging by. Come to the casa. Looking at some investments right now. I got into some uh, Robin Hood. No, I'm not shilling for it. I'm not doing anything. I'm just chatting. So, congratulations to Mark McKelvey. I hope I said it properly. I hadn't even put a three pack together for the giveaway for this past video, but I threw one together between the between the the video and the live stream. I think it's pretty cool. <clears throat> it's kind of all based around red and white, kind of. Tim, how are you? DX DJ. How are you? Thanks for coming in. Make sure you comment on the last video. Yeah, this looks like hell because I've obviously had some gluten and it's broken my skin out. There it is. <clears throat> and the term for it is called body dysmorphia. Psychology. Derek W., how are you, dog? We got Alex Hodges in the house. Thing two. Hey, bro, did your package come today? Thing two. All right. Julius, how are you? Let's see here. Let's see. Here. I'm sorting out my cards and found two I need to send you. I have six more boxes to go through. Before he sends. Oh, that's so great. Thanks, dude. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know. It's got to be the Chinese food I'm eating, maybe. I've been on a Chinese food kick. Thought it was gluten-free, but I doubt that the barbecue spare ribs are gluten-free. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm doing all right. Doing all right. Let's see here. Oh, shaking the camera. There we go. I hope this lighting is okay. It's not too dark. It's not too bright, right? I got a light facing me now. I figured that might help. All it's doing is blinding me, but. Maybe if it helps the cards look better, I'll be happy. <clears throat> but we'll let you know my son is loving the deck. The cards will go in. That's awesome, Tim. Very happy. Oh, come here. Mail is crazy. That is true. The mail is crazy. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear that it's looking good. So as uh Mark in the house. You got Mark in here yet? Thank you for commenting. And you did subscribe because I will put you in the next video to shout you out. Bobby Z. Yo, yo, what's good? How are you? <laughs> <clears throat>
Good to hear. All right. Lots to show off tonight. Pretty excited. Got a gift from uh, CMT himself. Two weeks. Get your mail buzz. Okay. It came, but the mail is slow right now. I believe it. Been subscribed for a bit. Been busy with work. How are you? Pounding some Ben and Jerry's, my brother. There you go. Yes, sir. I'm trying to stay happy. <clears throat> Lots of spicy things to show off tonight. It's going to be great. Some reserve list cards. Not expensive ones. Nope. But they are reserve list, and I'm happy I picked them up. Because you can't go wrong with reserve list cards. They're never going to go bad. Well, uh, they might go bad, but I doubt it, you know. So I'm going to play here in the exotic dance. You don't want to see me dance. I'd be back in that arse up. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, yes, I am into other hobbies. I, uh, I metal detect. I collect coins, stack silver. I haven't done it a lot because uh, MTG has taken over my real love because of the art. I love the artwork and coins. They have an art to them, but it's the same thing punched into round discs that are hard to hold on to. Cards a little easier to hold on to, but yes. I collect coins. I've got some coins that I was given from uh, some people on the channel. Uh, Dr. Kaz has sent me some coins. I got coins all over my computer area. You know, like wheat pennies and stuff. <clears throat> yes sir love love the silver love the gold i've actually where i live there was a school that i went to it's called clarendon elementary school i went metal detecting there you actually have to ask permission for private land so you go ask permission if they say no you respect that and you move on but if they say yes, you never know what you're going to find. I found seven silver rings on that school property. You know, I'm, I'm shocked. I was, I'm still shocked. What parent lets their kid go to school with a silver ring on, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, let's see here. The Kaltheim art is wicked. I am psyched to be looking at that stuff. I can't wait to crack into those packs. <clears throat> Let's see here. Retro games like NES until I had to sell my... Oh, I'm sorry, bro. You can always collect them again. Let's see here. That is opening the $90 packs. It's nuts. That's true. Yes, sir. I would have loved one of those Mirage packs. I really would have. Those are sick. Teachers, the, but the rings are tiny. They're like baby rings almost. Teachers lose rings as well. That is true. Maybe like three were like something I could see uh, a woman wearing. But the rest of them, they're really small. Like, there's one really tiny ring. It's got an R on it, and it's etched in there. I use my trusty old uh, – can't even think of the name of it – jeweler's loop to check it out. And it, it looks beautiful, you know, the way that whoever made that R into the silver. It's gorgeous. I found cufflinks. I found coins. 
My oldest coin that I found was a 1899 O mint mark half dime. It's pretty sick. It's probably like a hundred bucks, I think. <laughs> I'm not saying that out loud, Bobby Z. <laughs> Let's see. First box. Yes, Gavin Verhey opened his the first box of Calheim and a clutch in the in the set booster. I saw the most of it, and then my son wanted to play, so I set the phone down and let it run while we were playing. There's Mark. Mark, you want to see what I got you for cards for the winning? I also claim but you are a num numismatist. So let's see here. I'm sorry, ladies and gents, but when I get into things that I love, I got to show things off. Oh, ouch. Uh, do you have this book right here? Cherry Picker's Guide. Look at that. It's coming in nice. Can't wait to show off some cards. <clears throat> to everybody out there, collect 2009 any denomination coin in the U.S. and Canadian pennies. They don't make them anymore, so hold on to those two. One of the co-workers at work, we did a Secret Santa, and they were wondering what to get me. I'm like, yo, give me a roll of quarters, dude. I would go nuts over that, you know? And they said, he got me uh, four rolls of pennies, and I was, and he got me an alarm clock because I, uh, not, the, not very punctual. <laughs> Is this a new web? No, this is the same webcam. I'm just trying to do new lighting. Does that work better? Is <clears throat> yes, do not. Is that? Sorry, I don't have that book. Do you have uh, Strike It Rich? With pocket change, you'd be surprised how much stuff you can find in your change in your pocket. I found double dies. Double die is uh, um, it's a stuttering of the die when it hits. It, if you look it up, it'll show you a picture of how it happens. It's a long story. It's about printing, actually. After a couple million coins are printed out, the 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 dies they break down, and then you can get really radical imperfections in the coins. And if they get put out into circulation, they can be worth some bank, lots of money. Found a nineteen seventy four DDO penny and change. There you go, Mark. Nice. That's awesome. You'd be surprised. I mean, oh, have you heard of the Bugs Bunny? Oh, that's how I got that right here. Awesome cause. Oh. Sorry, folks. You get what you get. You get me, you get the love of magic in, in numismatics, too. It won't always be shown on the channel, but it might. I'd rather give you guys a heads up, so if you want to head out, more power to you. But I have love for magic and coins. You know, it's in our life. It's in my blood. You know, so uh, it's called the... 1955 Franklin Half Dollar. And it's called the Bugs Bunny. Why? Because there's a there's an error on his mouth. So it's like this, and it looks like he's got buck teeth. So it's called... Let's see here. 
I think that light back there is going to mess it up, isn't it? So it's a Bugs Bunny coin. I think it's cool. And then my favorite coin. Oh, geez. So back in uh, 2017, South Africa came out with a Krugerian. And I got into them back when uh, Lethal Weapon was out. I had heard about the Krugerian. Yes. That's uh, Annex. That, or ANACS that graded this one. Jester King was good, bro. Yes. Infinity War. Have you guys seen the um, the WandaVision? I'm not really into it. I'm probably going to wait until the whole thing comes out and then watch it. Uh, I used to have a 1942 silver half dollar I got when I worked at the truck stop over 20. There you go. Oh, you used to have it. Did you sell it for any good money? Silver's gone up. Like the last time I looked at it, it was like $16, $17. It's like $20, $10 difference now. Crazy nuts. So the Krugerrand, these came out, came back out. It was illegal to own them in the U.S. until they did an embargo or something. So now people are allowed to own them in the U.S. So I picked up the 50th anniversary first release. SPF 70. Oh, come on. Wish you guys could see it better. It's a beautiful coin. All right, let's uh let's do this. That might work. There we go. Now you can see it. Gorgeous coin. It's got a deer on it. I love it. Why? I have no clue. It's just that when you see something like, like the Black Lotus or one of the Power Nine, it's just something you see and you're like, it's so plain, but it's so beautiful. You know, it, it it's, gets you. It makes you feel, you know. <laughs> Red Light District, yeah, right? Uh, you said to save your 2009 coins. What's the deal with them? So in 2009, we were going through a recession, as Rudy from uh, Alpha Investment talks about, and there were less coins minted. So anything 2009 is worth some money. I, I go through rolls of pennies and pull out 2009, and anything before 45, probably, unless I find errors, which I haven't done in a while. That's why this light right here, this bright MF right here, that's why I have that. It's 100 watts, so you can use your jeweler's loop and not have to strain. Yeah, it's a good, good bulb. Glad that I bought it. Too bad I didn't hook up my phone to that extension thing. But I've also got a really, really expensive uh, magnif. Uh, what is it? Not a magnifying glass. Uh, microscope. Microscope. There we go. Drawing a blank. <clears throat> 1950D nickel. Nice. Is it in good shape? That's the biggest thing. Just like cards. If they're in good shape, they're worth some money. If not, that nickel better have five steps. There are words like five steps that I'm going to talk about. So on the back of a nickel, there's the Lincoln Memorial, I believe, or the there's a building. And there's steps on that building. If you can have five steps on that the back of the coin, you can get it graded, and it'll say five steps, blah, blah, blah. And it makes it worth more money. Uh, 56 is a rose dime, not a Merc. Yes, I would say 56 would be a Roosevelt. 
I could actually, I'd have to look it up. You could probably pop it on this, up on, you know, check it out on uh, Google. Google it. <laughs> um, I'm a row collector. Nice. Oh, one of the coins my brother got a hold of. Okay. Let's see here. Cool thing to... At least it's silver, bro. 50, 56? Are you sure it's a silver thing? Or was it a special mint? Because I believe anything before... Oh, 64 and before. That's right. It. So, yes, it is silver. Pre-82, all copper. Yes, very... Dystopian knows what he's talking about. 82 is all copper, that's right. 84 has, or is it 83? I think 83 has four different types of dates. Large date, small date. It's crazy. Nuts. DJ and in the house. I haven't done the mail date. I'm doing it right now. Like, we got into coins. So, I've been enjoying this chatting with you guys about coins, too. See, that's mainly why I wanted my channel was to talk about coins, things that I'm passionate about. Because if you have a collecting addiction, you collect more than just cards or you collect other things. You know, I'm a gamer and I got my PS4 sitting here with a $350 headset. You know, I thought about getting into live gaming, but I'd rather do this. I'd rather speak with you guys right here. And enjoy the artwork. I really love this artwork. I really do. Um, I will be doing the mail day giveaway. Or the mail day stuff. Oh, that's why you brought it up, isn't it? So, DJ Longhair sent me some coins. Coinky dink enough, right? So, this one is actually a... He said it was from a necklace or something. Or a chain. Keychain, maybe. It is a uh, Jack Daniels whiskey. Number seven. Old number seven, baby. That's pretty tight. I like it. Thank you, sir. And then these other ones. I think they're brass as well. But they are gorgeous. Like, when you look at an old coin, there's 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 a hue to it. You know? And these have that hue. So they're, uh, let's see here. They're from Disney. And anything Disney is worth some money. You, you got to know that. So this one is a 2000. I'm not sure, DJ, are these like Disney coins? I understand that, but what's happening, Dr. Kaz? Got Tim Bister in the house. He's been here for a little bit. Jeremy Warden, welcome. How are you? Thanks for coming. They're packed up right now, but I'll collect shot glasses and check checkboards. Shot glasses are cool. You saw mine. I bless everything with it. Yeah, buddy. <clears throat> oh, fumble. All right. So here's the first one. It says 2000. Wow, that's coming in pretty good now. Look at that. I can read that. If you can't read that, I, I don't know. Then we'll flip it around. That's a beautiful... Have you ever been to Disneyland? Nini Nan! What was that movie? Damon Wayne's, right? Nini Nan! Forgot what it was called. I forgot the movie. Wow, look at that. I'm going to hop out for a bit. Try to make it back before your roll credits. All right, bro. Just to open, thanks for swinging by. Appreciate it. Look at us. We got... 
20 people going. All right, so here's the other one. It says, I think this is a 45th anniversary Disneyland co to coin. That's awesome. I love it. It's going right in my, my coining over there. And then we got this side. That's gorgeous. There we go. Gorgeous. Guess I got to cover up my face. No problem to me. I guess we will be able to see some nice cards tonight. As long as I cover my face up, right? Got a full-on party here. I, I know. I, we're doing great. I'm loving it. Thank you, guys. This is great. I'm loving it. Eden, how are you? Yeah, we're looking at some coins, and we're going to crack some packs. Ooh. Mark, would you like me to show you the card that I got you? I didn't see the comment. Vic Strike, how are you today? All right, I'm putting these coins away, and we're gonna, getting into some magic. Thank you, DJL. Oh, all right, so mail day. All right, let's see. Mark, yes. Okay, you said yes. So the first card is a mythic. It is Nahiri, heir of ancient ways, or heir of the ancients. There we go. There we go. And then we got, I've talked about this card. I think it's great. You know, Grafton War Gear. It's pretty tight and it's foil. And then, since uh, I actually played a game with the random dude, Josh, and uh, Tyler, I don't know his last name, but I'm not going to put it out there. Christoph Walker, welcome to the stream. Thanks for coming. Um, and yes, Tago, Goblin Weaponsmith. Because uh, that's the deck that Random Dude Josh played, and it was pretty cool. So I figured, why not get get you a rock? Rock and roll, right? So those are the three cards for you, Mark. And thank you. Appreciate it. Keep staying positive. So now I got in the mail. Um, let's see here. I want to read some comments, keep in touch with you guys. So let's see here. What does everybody think of the new Caltime Commander decks? I haven't looked at them, but the cards look pretty good. Um, bird up, sunshine. MTG Peddler, bro. How are you? Thanks for coming over. Did you have your, you had your video earlier, right? I'm sorry I didn't make it. I was probably doing my premiere. All right. First off, first off. So I got in the mail from CMT. A one package. And this is so gorgeous. I showed it at the end of the video, but I have to show it off again. I'm going to be cracking packs with this for a while. Why? Because I'm a dad, and this is what I do with my son. I wish I could do this with my son. Toss him up in the air. But a smile gives it away, you know what I mean? A child's smile can light up a room. And this is great. I love it. Thank you, CMT and CMC, Clever Magic Community and Clever Magic Trevor. Thank you, guys. And, uh, yeah, that's dirty. He also sent me a card that we did a did a trade for. I sent him one Mr. T, and he sent me a Japanese War of the Spark one. I sent him the the stained glass to vary. So he sent me that, and then yeah, 
I sent him some lands. I don't know if he's going to open on the channel or not. Probably not, but, you know, just to give you guys a heads up. So we've got one. Oh, my goodness. And then I got in the mail again from Matt from Kraken Packs MTG. What's good? Yeah. All right. He sent me the cards that I I cracked open on his channel, which I got to show that off. Is that the one? I don't Oh, it is. It is. Okay. I got it in a top loader. Come on. Okay. So, he sent me the cards that I had won. And he sent me this. Thank you, Matt. So, I'm going to be giving stuff away in here. We will open it tonight. So thank you, Matt, from Kraken Packs MTG. If you haven't, go check him out. He does live stream Kraken Packs on Facebook. And he's got a new store. Go check him out. He's great. He's so generous. And you're never getting screwed over by this guy. He's he's a great guy. He really is. You're paying for what you're buying. You're and usually he's pulling fire. So, all right. Yes, now I've lost train of thought. In the mail, I did receive my cards that I had picked up. I picked up three collector's boosters of uh, Commander Legends. And chibla! Foily boy. Foily, bleh, bleh. foily boy, what is good, my ninja? Look at that, gorgeous, right? Jake and Joel are magic. What's good? Thanks for swinging by. Got the foily goodness going on right now. I'm psyched. Got lots of packs to crack, and this is the video. Go to tonight's video, comment, okay? This is the 800 and 750 giveaway. I'm giving away those expeditions and more. I'm keeping the Lotus. Sorry. sorry. Mm -hmm. My phone's blown up, but who cares? Unless it's somebody. If it was something important, that'd be one thing. But I'm all about you guys. So, yes. I'm loving the, the Jewel Lotus that I got foiled. Um, I pulled some crazy stuff. Like, uh, I think I showed off the, the full art mana drain. I've been getting pretty lucky. All right. Let's see here. Then I got in the mail from, uh, I used to be a, a patron of this gentleman up north. From A Canada. His name is Mr. Bevers. He's a great guy, very generous. He does a lot of, you know, helping out the community in your area or his area. Um, I think a couple of these people on here have actually done videos with him. And if you haven't and you've got an MTG YouTube channel, go check, go talk to him. You know, it's a charity of your choice. You donate $10 to crack, pack, and battle or whatever. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Let's see here. Pause, bone, fire. Yeah, I've been pretty lucky lately. Yep. Let's see here. Jake, I can't believe you're alive after the debauchery last night. What happened last night, you guys? I'm sorry I missed it. Very understandable. Did they finally hit the lily? Don't blame you. <clears throat> did you hit the did you hit the lily? Finally? Mr. Beavers too. Isn't it Mr. Beavers? It's not Mr. Beavers. 
That's his name, Mr. Bevers. Let's see here. So on his channel, he does these videos. And if you go and check out some of these shouts out in the video, he'll put you in a, a running to win packs. And uh, I won. And I got three packs of Ravnica Legion or Guilds of Ravnica. So we're going to crack those open tonight. And then I obviously went to my LGS, spew for the Drago games, and I picked up some packs. So I picked up some more Ravnica, Ravnica Allegiance. Maybe we can pull that, uh, the Mythic Ooze, or I can't even think of it. I'm drawing a blank. It's uh, Simic Colors, Mythic. Can't believe I'm drawing a blank. <clears throat> nice tin. You're amongst one of the few men I believe could still pull off the mullet. Dummy T H I C C burrito. How are you, burrito? You think I could pull off a mullet? Or who are you talking about? <laughs> Foil quest. Let's see. No losses in many greens, but two good pictures. Those are nice. Very nice. Let's see. Yes, Hydroid Crisis. Thank you, guys. Tyler, how are you? There we go. We played with Tyler. That's what it was. <clears throat> All right. So I picked those up. I picked up three of the old school Ravnica. Maybe we can pull some lands out of there. And then I picked up one foily pack. So we got a crap to crack open. Say that ten times fast. Crap to crack open. Crap. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. There we go. And now on to the cards that I picked up. All right. So thanks to the Trump check, I picked up. Shout out to you, Josh Goodsell. Reliable, good cards. He actually just started his own YouTube channel. So there's a spew to you, bro. All right. First card. It's going to be... Bun -na 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 -na. I'm going to drop these, so I'm going to do one at a time. Mox Opal, baby. My first. Got to love the Mox Opal. Got to have it. Got to love the artifacts. Bruce, how are you? Thanks for coming by. Devin, thank you, bro, for still being here. Let's see. Darn, I'll bring the luck. Let's see. Where's your graces? Uh, email address is, I will put it in the comments below or in the stream. Uh, um. Bars me at gmail.com. There you go. There's my email. Everyone busy Friday. All right. So, yes, the Mox Opal had to get it. And then we've got some, uh, let's see here. I picked up Burling Pod. Got it. If you're playing green, you got to have a breathing pot at least in one deck. Got to love it. Breathing pot's a good card. Let's see. Who's the birthday? My birthday? Who are we talking about? Thanks for the address. I need one of those. I hear you. Um, all right, so next on the list, what is up with my camera? It's flickering. Uh, you know what it is? It's probably that fan. Ugh. All right. Because I've never seen that happen before, so maybe it's my new fan. 
All right. So next I will show off. So DJ Longhair also sent me some cards. And uh, was this in it? He sent me some foily boys. He sent me some really, he sent me an angel of destiny. Um, if it's cool. I think I might give it away. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. But I will keep the other cards. Uh, me. So my birthday is August 28th and I was born in 1980. So here's one of the cards. Uh, this was pulled on Matt's channel as well. It is uh, Legion's Landing. This card is dirty, especially in a vampire's build. I love it. I wouldn't mind getting a foily boy, but I'm happy with this one. Or maybe, no, I don't have a foily. There we go. Look at that. Legion's Landing, baby. And then it says... When Legion Landing entered the battlefield, create a 1 1 white vampire creature token with lifelink. When you attack with three or more creatures, transform Legion Landing. And then it transforms into Adanto, the first fort. And it looks like this. And then you can uh, tap four, I believe. Oh, it's three. Two and a white. And you can create a 1 1 vampire token with lifelink. It's dirty. I love it. Let's see here. Really, MTG Peddler, you're 29th, 20, uh, 25th? That's awesome. That's why we get along. We're Virgos, right? <laughs> uh, let's see here. I'm a month and a half younger. There we go. Okay. So we're all in the same age bracket, technically, sort of. Some of us are. All right, here comes the the the, the reserve list cards. Let's see here. I'm gonna start out with uh these were from Josh, good sell. First one is POX, baby. Pox Ice Age. Check that out. The artwork is kind of dull in that one, but I got it for the nostalgia. You know, Ice Age was a great set. Loving it. Let's see here. Well, that's great. I'm fine. As long as you love magic, you're welcome in this casa. All right? That's why I try not to throw around swearing much. I do have a dirty mouth, but I try to keep it respectable. Unless I freak out and pull something dirty nuts. Next card is going to be Is Jester King still here? Here comes his mask. Jester's mask. Come on, baby. Focus in. Focus. What is going on? Jester's mask. Well, you can see the gist of it. It's pretty cool. All right. So there's one. See, I don't understand. I'm trying to figure this lighting out. It's really bugging the crap out of me. Let's try that. A little bit better, right? Super. I'm going to leave it like that. Negative. I'm working all day. September 25th, 80. Nice. Let's see here. All right. So there's Jester's uh, mask. And then we got Hall of Gemstones, baby. I got that one from Drago. I got this one from Josh. Good sell. I like this artwork, dude. It's 
pretty sick. So it says, all gemstones enchant world during each player's upkeep. That player chooses a color until end of turn. Each mana producing land produces mana of the chosen color instead of its normal color. That's pretty dirty. I don't know if I'm going to just put it away or if I'm going to actually put it in my deck. I could always proxy it. That is a pretty good enchantment right there. So I do have a question for any of the uh, people that have played Magic longer than I have, obviously. Enchant World. Does that mean a land? Or does that mean just an enchantment period? Best card from Message besides Killer Bees. Very, very true. Go live Friday. Uh, if I if I have time, Friday, yeah, I could probably swing that. What would we do a chat se session or something? Last of the cards, I picked this up today. Is a second chance? It's got the old school Urza on it. And it's from Urza's Destiny, right? That's the hammer. It affects everyone. Oh, really? Okay. Thank you, Jake or Joel. Appreciate you guys swinging by. Vexing MTG. It is it is just enchantment. Okay. We got cash in the house, too. Collectors of the Coast. I am a hairy beast. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. <laughs> Glad to see you guys all here. This is awesome. All right, let's get into cracking, packing, pack cracking. We're going to start out. Oh, I need the trash can. Trash can. The bell. And I gotta all right. Ravnica. Kills the Ravnica, baby. I don't know what's going on with this camera. But I'll figure it out after. Alright. We don't want to make a mess here. Yes, we do. Alright. Put that back in the hard case. All right. Jewel Lotus is taken care of. What is going on with this? Sorry about the picture, guys, girls, everybody out there. Love you too, bro. <clears throat> All right. Ravnica. Guild of Ravnica. Here we go. Thank you, Mr. Rivers. Appreciate it. My first opening is a third deck with Lord of the Pit and Force of Nature. I was hooked on the art. Amen. Very true. Yep. That's what it's all it takes is one pack. And you either love it, you hate it, or you're in the mix. Excuse me. All right. Oh, I need a box too. Okay. Demotion. Peekaboo. All right. Because they're busy. Any others? Content cleaning one in. Crack back in. Pack record. Earliest I have it is revised. You got a sealed pack of revised, do you? That's awesome. Rise in the dark for me also. All right, here we go. Let's do this. And we've got Goblin Buccaneer, I believe. Yep, Buccaneer. 
the Buccaneer, dude. Fuck, dude. There we go. There we go. And then we got, oh, people love this card, don't we? We love this card when it was in the standard. Without erasure. <laughs> let's go, let's go. What is that? Is that a rare? Oh, see what bust. Yuck. And a Golgari Gilgate and a soldier. We're soldiers in this environment. Keep pushing forward. All right, here we go. Let's see. Go like the game after your first pack. And seven on the solar alpha decks on the same rack as a count. No way! That's awesome. I don't have a seven eleven. I first time I had a seven eleven was when I was like eleven teen or so. All right, so we got the swarm guild mage. And then we've got, oh, it's coming in great now. Thank goodness. Silent Dart. Tyler, Bobby Z. All right, here we go. Gogori Fine Broker. This is a good card. I have this in my, my deck, my, uh, I'm blank. We'll draw the deck. Because it's got an ETB. And there's a battlefield return target permanent card from your graveyard to the to your hand. There we go. We got Ooh! Firemind Reversal. Firemind's research. I think we got a foily. Let's go. Woo! It is a foily. Uh, Conclave Guild Mage, I believe. Yep, Conclave Guild Mage. Very nice. At least it's uncommon. I'm not complaining about that. There we go. And then we've got. All right, I'm putting these back. Get some exercise moving around, right? All right, let's see here. I like the fine broker, the best of those. Yep. He was bust, felt like a bust friend. I hear you, Vex. I do hear you there. DJ, I had to give up my drug addiction for magic cards in Funko Pops. I'm the poorest. I would concur. Addiction sucks. That's why I do Magic the Gathering. I'd rather sink into this, have some sort of investment, than blow it up my nose or whatever. Addiction sucks, but you can do it. You can get over it and keep pushing forward. That's what I'm doing. Forward! March! Any try to, any try to value their collection. We got the, what is it? Invert, in, invert, and invent. Then we got, ooh, Grave Troll or Lothless Giant. Here we go. Come on, baby. Come on. Show me love. You got another Guild Mage, Legion Guild Mage. This doesn't play in the meta. You get to pump it up to two drop. Not a bad card. Hey, we're getting a pretty good picture now. Stay that way, please. Rare. Ooh, the hatchback spider. Or hat hatchery spider. And then oh, just a plain, just a give me a gill gate. All right. What do you guys want to see me open next? How about you guys choose? We got Ravnica, and then we got Ravnica Legions. 
Y'all pick it out. Don't forget to comment on tonight's video. Big giveaway. Huge giveaway. Should I show it off? Bet your ace. Let's do this. I've sunk in a bunch more cards, too. I got a Magus of the Order I'm giving away that's a full art. About four people are going to win. I'm going to send out like four cards to each person. Three cards to each. Three or four. All right. Some Modern Horizon. I don't have Modern Horizon, so I wish I did. Um, we got the Quartz Crusher. And we got the... Oh, these were from Clever Magic Trevor as well. The Quartzwood Crasher and the Luminarch Aspirin. I'm giving those away. These come from Clever Magic Trevor's channel. If you haven't checked them out, go check them out. Just like Jake and Joel are magic. We got Justin IMTG. Go check him out. He's got the pack cracking cup, and I love it. Woo woo. All right. And then we've got Tabarax. All right. Where is it? Show me love. Oh. Got the Lotus Cobra, full art. These are cards that I'm giving away for the winners, okay? A lovely mystery booster box. Lotus Petal. Can't go wrong with the Lotus Petal, no matter if it's mystery or not. This is one of my favorite cards. I know it's not worth a lot, but it's beautiful. It's got a curl to it. Preordain, foily boy. Nice, nice. Then we got Sing Gear Etched Foil. Yeah, buddy. Then we got Zara Etched Foil. And then here we go. Here we go. Relax. Chill out. Good rest of the stream, man. I got to head out before I go back editing for the next few hours. Do what you got to do, Jake and Joel. Thanks for swinging by. I appreciate it. Appreciate the love. Your stuff is awesome. So pretty. Amen to that. Clever Magic Community. Look at that. Speak in. I got to show it off again, which I'm not ashamed to. Loveliness. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I love it. Too bad I can't wear it, you know. I would I would wear a shirt like this any day of the week. And people are like, oh, what's that? I'll be like, magic. That's what's up. I love it. All right. Here's so I upgraded the celestial colonnade and the spire uh spire garden to a foily. It is the foily boy. And then behind this one is the Godzilla. Yeah. That's what's up. That's for the 800 subs. And y'all are invited to it. All you can do is comment on tonight's video. And then we got the lovely Spire Garden Expedition. That's gorgeous. Tell me it's not. They both are. They're both beautiful. And then we've got behind this one, we've got the King Caesar. I might upgrade that. You know what? I'm going to put a gem razor in there. It might not be foil, but it'll be exp extended art. That's what I've been wanting to figure out. Like, I'm like, is that worth it? Is it, is it a good giveaway? Because King Caesar, he's all right, but... Well, Hunt Master, Hunt Master Liger hasn't played a lot, though. But the art is beautiful. And looky what we got here. All right, so this is a scratch card just to forewarn y'all. All right? But it is from the secret layer. It's part of the Can You Feel With a Heart of Steel? Arcbound Ravager, baby. Look at that. 
That's going into the giveaway too. Derf the man, what's good, bro? How are you? Ben Griffiths. Thanks for swinging by. Don't forget to go and subscribe, please. Considering burning all my foil commander legends <laughs> and glorious. Yeah, the regular ones, not the etched. All right, and then we got some uh some other stuff. We got Bonders Enclave, Ruinous Ultimatum, Great Breaker Lamia, Elspis Conquers Death. That sees lots of play right now. Brought back. Um, let's see here. Priest of Forgotten Gods. And then we got the Yidaro. Turtle guy. Let's see. Night Pack Ambusher. That's still seeing some play. It's a dirty card. And uh, Thrash and Threat. Those are, wow. That's ringing in my ear. Can you hear me now? All right. So those are cards that are going to be given away for the 800 subscriber and 750 subscriber giveaway. Make sure you comment. Thank you. Let's get into, uh, what are we doing next? What did you guys say? I didn't read it. Sorry. Let's, let's see here. Mr. Let's see here. Cobra. Thank you. Fellas. Favorite modern set. Uh, modern set. Uh, hmm. I was. Honestly, I'm happy with a lot of the sets. I just wish the cards weren't as damaged, you know? Let's see here. It's in, yeah, there's that. Do not put it in the sometime. It's real table. That's all uh, my boy can't wait for the movie. There is another Godzilla movie coming out. <laughs> Let's see here. Somebody said Ravnica Allegiance. Matt Becker, how are you, bro? Thanks for coming, Bruce. Thank you. All right. I guess we're going to do Ravnica Allegiance. Anybody else want to vote? Cracking it anyway, right? All right, we're going to do Round Nickel Legion next. How's that sound? We're just having fun. Cracking them packs. Packing them cracks. Pause for cause. Get a sip of soda pop. Throne is a great set, yes. I love Questing Beast. Questing Beast was my favorite card out of that set with the full art. There was a gentleman by the name Richard from Mr. Bever's channel that actually sent me a full art box topper Questing Beast, and I will have it till the day I die. It's gorgeous. Here we go. This is for you, Clever Magic community. Let us pull... Some uh, dirtiness. Is that the right one? Yep. All right. Belka Battle Hunt. Oh, I haven't cracked this set in a while. Let's see here. Belka Battle Hunt. That is the. Junk Troller. We've got. Essence Capture, right? Yes, sir. At least they remember the names. Ian, let's go, let's go. Come on. There's two cards there. I feel it. There we go. What are we going to get? Is it a rare? I can't tell. There we go. That is the Gunner Bones. 
Not a bad card. Definitely sees play. And, ooh. Foily. Nice. Rubble Slinger. Yeah, Rubble Slinger. Nice. All right. There's that pack. Okay. And then we're going to do the blue. Let's go. Let's go. Final payment. All right. Eyes everywhere. I thought this was a pretty weird card, but the artwork was pretty cool on it. Oh, come on. There we go. Eyes everywhere. Stay, camera. Stay in, in the limelight. Let's uh, go. I don't remember the name. I got to look it up. Then we got this. Uh, Cinder, uh, Clan Guild Mage. There we go. It's hard to read it backwards. That's for damn sure. There's a crazy card that a lot of people played. Uh, Cavalcade of Clem I was going to say Chlamydia. Cavalcade of Calamity. Good card. Let's go, let's go. What's it going to be? Nice. And raise forerunners. Oh, woo. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's a dirty card right there. And there's a race good gate. That's what I'm talking about. One last pack. Let's do this. Pull that shock. The shock and awe. Lots of great curves in that set. Let's go. Let's see. Gonna go live Friday. Setting up Facebook Messenger chat and going live. Okay. Adventure, one of the best mechanics ever. Very true. Yeah, see, the thing with uh, the Fortel is it seems like you're paying extra. Or is it just on some cards? Seems like you're paying extra to get the cards out. Vindictive Vampire. I don't know if Dark Raven is in the house, but she's a fan of the vampires, as of, so am I. All right. Come on. It's got to be an easier way to do this. There we go. Nice picture. Ooh. Sphinx of the Guild Pack. 9 p.m. work time. Pause. Nine probably would work better, yes, sir. Looking forward to the giveaway. I'm very happy you're in the giveaway, Devin. Thank you guys for showing up. We're kicking butt. Hit that thumbs up. I only see nine thumbs up. We got 18 people here. I want to see 18 thumbs. Right up. Right up there, bro. Broskies and girlskies. Let's go. Let's go. What is that? That's an R. There we go. Here at Precinct 1. That's a good card. Nothing wrong with that. That's what I'm talking about, baby. And just the lands. No lands. Too bad. So sad. All right. Now to the true Ravnica. This is all, all about the goods. I, I really like this set. If I was to pick up a box and I had the money for it, I would want to get Ravnica, return to Ravnica. RTR, baby. All right. Here we go. Let's see here. Looks so cool. Extended. All right, here it's down. Right, it's Eastern, Eastern time. That's right. Yes, I'm on the East, East Coast. Yep. Here we go. Old school, 
Old school Ravnica. Wow. Front card was a little damaged. Here we go. Let's do this. Goblin Rally. Syncopate. Wicked artwork. That is gorgeous. That artwork is phenomenal. Tell me it's not. Try me. Oh, seen too much. That's an hermunculus, right? Solosworn spirit. That's a spirit. That's a pretty picture, though. Glad it's coming in good now. Let's go. What is that? That's a troll. Lothless troll. Or Lothless troll. One in a uh, green and a black trample. Discard a creature card. Put a 1 1 counter on Lothless troll. Regenerate. That's pretty sick, actually. That's a pretty good card. What do you guys think? I'd play that in a roll deck in a heartbeat. I don't care if it's a troll or not. And token and yeah. Let's go, let's go. We still got this from Crack Packs MTG to open. Hurry up, pause. Okay, okay. All right, here we go. Y'all doing all right out there? Thank you, guys. This is awesome. I hope you guys are enjoying this because most of these cards are going to go to you guys anyway. So Let's do this. Dark Revenant. Dark Revenant. Come on. Hello. Damn it. All right, that is an assassin. Assassin strike. Kind of expensive though. Destroy creature. Its controller discards a card. Not for six. Come on. We've got the Rakdos Rage Mutt. That is pretty cool artwork though. All right, now we're gonna flip to this card. Rakdos. Oh, it's a mythic. Blech. Rakdos's return. You. So, X in the black and the red. Rakdos return deals X damage to target opponent. That player discards X cards. Woo. That's dirty. Does anybody have that in the Rakdos deck? Does anybody play Rakdos? Oh, who's the artist on Secopate? Let me look. Where'd it go? Syncopate is... Clint Cleary. Clint Cleary. All right, where are we at? There we go. Okay, so... That Rakdos return is pretty sick. Dirty. That's a good hit. Dane Part Piker, how are you, bro? Thanks for coming. The more the merrier. Yeah, this is great. I'm glad you guys are here. Let's see here. Faith Parsons, thank you for coming. I saw you in the 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 premiere as well. Appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying the content. Let's go. Let's do this. Fairy imposter. Rogue fairy flying. Fairy imposter enters the battlefield. Sacrifice it unless you return another creature you control to its owner's hand. 
That's pretty sick. Especially in an ETB's deck. Look at that picture. It looks great. Maybe I'm going to start doing that. I'll just... Selesnia Kirun. I like these. These are pretty tight. Then we got Zinnikin Locust. Expensive. 3-3 three, three flying scavenge. Exile this card from the graveyard. Put a 1-1 one -one counter. Put a number of 1-1 one -one counters equal to this card's power on target creature. Scavenger only as a sorcery. Has anybody, any of you guys ever played this card? I don't think I've even heard of it. It isn't uncommon, though. Kind of steep. Let's go, let's go. Let's get, ooh. Could that be another mythic? It is. Look at that. Oh, it's a rare. <laughs> Righteous Authority. My bad. Kind of looked red. Equipment, three and a white and a blue. Enchantment creature gets 1-1 one, one for a card in the controller's hand. All right. Okay. There we go. All right, we need another box. Here we go. How are we looking? Good vibes, aren't you ready? Thank you. Love watching people break packs. Thank you, DJ. DX DJ. Let's go. Saw it, but not used it. Uh, is this RTR? That was RTR. Yes. Yes, it was. Any authority? Any a minute. All right. Need the knife. So thank you, Kraken Packs, MTG. If you haven't, go check them out. Here we go. Tubit, I was told that there's other colors dice in these uh, fat packs. Bundles, whatever. Don't you dare steal anything, because then you won't have fun with Magic the Gathering. Box. Oops. Artwork. And I'm not going to open that one tonight. I'm laying it together forever. I do like this foiliness on this. It is pretty sick. Artwork rocks. And we've got 11 packs. That gray dull dice. Ridiculous. I'd rather not get a die. But we get one. And we got the Cherix. Woohoo! Cherix. I'm a big kid. Look what I can do. Let's go. Let's see. Don't steal. Bad things will happen. That's right. Bad things will happen to you. The gift addiction box. They are wicked cool. I'm loving open this. I'm very grateful. Look at us. We're kicking butt. 18 people. That's what I'm saying. All right. Let's do this. Get this. Five. Five. I'm leaning them against each other just so I have room. All right. Here we go. Bless these packs. Ta -da. Bingo. Makes me think of a dauber, you know? But it's fun. It's fun to do. Just me and you. 
Let's go. I have a gift for those my mm, two deck box for my active eat. That's a good idea. Yep, Omnith and Conrad are in it moment. And the poster is on the wall. You commander player. You bet your butt, Dan. Love the commit. Love EDH. I respect modern and vintage and all those. I just never have played them. I played standard. Let's go. Um, let's see here. All right. Um, I'm sorry. Cargan War Leader. Thump. There we go. Nice picture. Nice picture. Stay with me. Stay with me. That is a uh, son of a biscuit. Shadow. Shadow Stinger. I should have known it. I've been playing this in my uh, my grill deck online. Bella, get recovery. What? <laughs> Good card. Here we go. It's a rare. Shatter back. Shatter hope. Shatter skull charger. And then, what do we got? What do we got? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. And a nice swampy. There we go. Let's see. Yeah, the videos does for the collector pack. You really want that, huh, bud? All right. I'll do it. Jars. You know how to do it. All right. Did I get the comments? All right. I'm setting the comments over here. All right. Junk token. 20. That's awesome. I'm loving it. Thank you guys for hitting the thumbs up. You guys rock. This is great. Great. Giddy up. Okay, here we go. Uh, Sky Cave Pickaxe. Gotta go. Have a good Clever Magic Community, thank you for coming by. I appreciate it. You guys are rock. If you haven't checked him out, go check out DJ Long Hair, Clever Magic Community. We got um, Grim Entertainment also. Hey, what's up, Grim? We've got John from MTG Peddler. We got a lot of great people here tonight. All right, Sky Clay Pickaxe. Then we've got the Merfolk to Falconer. There we go. It's really a pain to read backwards. It really is. Let's see here. Oh, Salindi. There we go. Salindi Vision. There we go. And then we've got Oh, Grackma. It's a good card. It's pretty strong. Just not worth much. We got the lovely island. Oh, we got the token. I love those tokens. If you haven't seen them, these ones. So I can proxy everything. I set them aside. Reuse, 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 recycle. Not much, bud. You're going to pop in and say hello. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. Getting too late for me. I got to crash. Tim, thank you for swinging by. I appreciate it. Yeah, I know it's 11 o'clock. I'm a night owl, but I want to finish this uh, bundle in these two packs. Uh, let's see here. Proxy Black Lotus. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. Only cards that I own. 
All right, here we go. Unless it was to be a mock, mockery deck or something. Another guy clave pickaxe. And then, what do we got? What do we got? There's two cards there. I feel it. Another one of those more folk somethings. Let's go, Mythic Baby. Ooh, what is it? Is it a Mythic? Come on. Focus. Yeah! Look at it! Do you see that? Timber, climb, timber, timber, timber! Gun ho! Timber, turn timber, symbiosis. There we go. There's a nice picture. And I think there's a foily boy in here, too. Oh, let's see. Skyclave Geopede. Very nice. Very nice. Well, we're going to keep the planes, trains, and automobiles. That is awesome. I'm going to save that one out. So we can, oh, uh, no, I'm not. This is all Zendikar, so I'm putting it in the box. We got a lot of packs to open. Hurry up, pause. Let's do this. Proxy Black Lotus. Best Friday. Busy Friday. It's hump day. That's right. Grim Tracking said it should be here today, but it hasn't arrived yet. During the live stream, when an Open Facebook Messenger chat. Nice bull, nice bull, nice bull, nice bull. Pause. There you go, beautiful timber. That's right. All right, here we go. Love those green cards. We've got the Git Raga Night Runner. Bang. Core Cliff something. Ooh, Spike Field Hazard. Nice card. And then another Mythic Baby. Ooh, look at that. That's a uh, Akiri, Fearless F Voyager. And then a lovely Forest. Very nice. And my favorite token. Are you token? Who's token? Our token. All right. I don't know what it is, but I have your stream at 144p. No matter what, they still buffer every couple of seconds. It's probably my internet. I got regular internet. I don't beef up anything. Okay, we got the Marasa Root Grazer. Very good card. I got that in my Oboom deck. And we got Skyclave Shadow Master. Shadow Cat. Meow. <laughs> there we go. Why can't it just stay in good picture, you know? Ooh, we got the McKinney Malkir Rebirth. And what is that? Nice. There we go. Shadowing Nighthawk Scavenger. That's what I'm talking about. Very nice. That artwork is so sweet. You. I love that card too. And we got the Montagna. And a plant token. That's going to go down here. That's going to go over here. What are we chatting about? I'm going to figure it out with pause. But let me know. Let's see. Here is the commander for Boros. That is very true. She is. Trying to catch up on the reading. Well, yeah, I'd be down 
I'm super new to the streaming, but we can all fumble through it. Yeah, that's right. Fumble through it together. Teamwork makes the dream work. Never forget it. All right, there's another. It's like I'm opening the same pack. Am I? How weird would that be, right? Ooh, there we go. Uh, black B Bloom Rogue. That doesn't sound right. Black Bloom Rogue. Yep, that's what it is. And then, ooh, Inscription of Insight. There we go. I love that artwork. That artwork is sick. Especially in foil. Whoo! Which I do feel we have a foil here. And it's a common. Okay. Oblivion Hunger. Are you hungry? Another token. I'm happy to get those than those junk cards. So happy. Mushroom Brew, what's good? If you love artwork, go check out Mushroom Brew on Facebook. He's an artiste. He kicks butt. Get a link in my channel. Email me if you're in the Facebook group. The Fish. How are you, The Fish? Welcome. Thank you for coming by. Don't forget to let, hit that like button and subscribe. Big giveaway, huge giveaway. Expeditions, two of them. Yeah, they're at the lower end, but they are foil. So they still look beautiful. And if you like packing, cracking, cracking packs, that's what I do here. All right. Here we go. First card is... Obviously, another Sky Clay pickaxe. Another Merfolk Murfo Falconer. Another. Same cards in different packs. Mythic. Ooh, it's a Crack Crown Pathway. I like it. I can handle that. I don't think there's a foil, but we can turn her over. Flip her over. Flip her on over. Here we go. All right, and the cups. Got the cups. I love that artwork. That land is beautiful. And a junk token. Can't ever get away with the junk tokens, can we? We got three packs, and then the Zendikar pack, and then uh, let me see here. Just one moment. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Where is he at? Where is he at? Um, Devin, did you uh, did you send that yet? Or you can send it after. I don't. As long as you send it, we're good. Didn't want to sell it, but if you wanted to sponsor the sponsor the pack, I'd be happy to. Uh, pretty just uh, money. Yeah, I sent it already. You did. Sorry, pass the cost through PayPal, right? Oh, you know what? It came through. It just didn't show because my phone wasn't connected to the internet. If I don't have it connected inside the house, it's slow as hell. All right, here we go. Relic vial. How are we doing? Is everybody chilling in here? The man, the myth, the mushroom. <laughs> All right. A legend. All right. Relic. What is that? Oh, there we go. Cute. 
uh, cinderplasm. It was like 30 bucks. Yeah, I do too. Ooh. Flippy card. Flippy. Flippy. Fur, flurry. Furry. And then. Ooh. This guy's creating lots of damage. When you get combat damage, you get to put a 1-1 one, one, or a zero one on your opponent's side. What is that? Oh, Master of Winds. At least it's a foil rare. I'm not complaining. And the Plains token. And the regular token. Very nice. Warhawk, my dude. Three weeks. And you haven't got it yet. Warhawk. Let's see here. Trying to catch up. Let's see. Uh, I'm not seeing Warhawk's message. Sorry, I'm not trying to ignore anybody. Um, still, still doing it live. Yeah, I know. Shipping is crazy. Okay. All right, here we go. Yes, thank you, uh, Devin. You rock, dude. Oh, no way, dude. Wow, too bad. Uh, I forgot his name. So, look at this. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, come on. There's an error card in here. All right, so, shield... Thing. All right, so oh, these are way off. Look at that. See the mark right up in here in this corner. Oh. Can you guys see it? And then look at that one. Move my finger out of the way. That's crazy nuts. Kraken Packs MTG sending me miscut cards. Can't go wrong with that. Pack fresh. That's dirty. Look at the back. That's so cool. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I'm hitting it out of the park, baby. Wow. All right. That one's okay. That's, uh, is that the only one? Maybe there's more in the box, though. All right. Another relic. Well, okay. So those three are okay. Those two are pretty, pretty messed up. So, yes. You can even tell with this one as well. You can see the extra border right there. And then the bottom's cut off. Are these worth anything? I'm sure they're worth something to somebody, but a conspiracy box I got had a lot of miscut cards. I'm so hyped. <laughs> they are? Okay. All right, that's cool. Here we go. Relic Vile. Cinderplasm again. This is like the same cards in the same packs. Like Selenian. Uh, Selindi something. Let's get a, another wins. Are you kidding me? Why don't you just punch me in the gonads, right? The last bundle was tight. This is this is great though. I'm not complaining. Zero one construct. Those things are annoying. But when I run uh, black white life gain, 
I got the Hilliard's intervention that gets rid of those real quick, like. Ring the bell for messed up cards. They're only like a couple bucks though, right? So this one right here that I bought at my LGS, this one is for you, uh, Tyler, okay? Just to let you know. And this one is for, you know, me to give away, obviously. I'll be giving some of those cards away for the 809. Let's get us to 900. Have I gotten any new subs tonight? Can you guys tell me that? Have you guys shared with a friend of yours that is awake right now? Maybe? Tell them to hop on over to Paz Casa. We're cracking packs. Pack cracking. Uh, let's see here. Uh, no, these ones look all right. Be pretty tight if they weren't, though. At least I could tell. I didn't think I'd be able to tell if it was ruined or not. Or Devin. Sorry. Devin. I saw Tyler and I met Devin. Let's see. Well, I think he meant Devin. Yes, I meant Devin. I apologize. Thank you, Vexing MTG. I appreciate it. All right, here we go. Skyclave, Shadowcat, the Relic Vial, times 15 now. And then we got the Celindy. Isn't it Celindy? Something. Bane, Bane Vale, and uh, Troll, Swarm, Chandler, something. Got another foily, and it is the Scorch Rider, and the lovely Mountain, and a card. Okay, that's pretty tight. I gotta sleeve those up. There we go. I'm going to set these aside. All right. The Teferi. Miscut. Probably worth hundreds. Those cards right there, those aren't worth hundreds, right? Yeah, probably worth hundreds. Miscut. Just because they're new, that I don't believe it. No way. No, it's fairy. Who's got the fairy that's miscut? Sorry, I haven't read uh, at the shop. I could, man, someone got a miscut fairy during Dominary. What? That's awesome. I love Mr. T. I got every version of him so far. All right, here we go. No turning back now. Right meow. All right. Oh, I'm going to put that right in there, too. We've got Wind Rider Wizard as our first uncommon. I'm trying to grab it. There we go. Okay. Plow. That is the Moss Pit. Skeleton. And then the Swampy. The Swampy. Welcome to my Swampy. I actually have a pack of foil fairy here at Dominaria. I did too. That's what got me back into this game, Dane. That's the card that got me back into Magic the Gathering. Loving it. After the miscut madness, this feels a lot less exciting. Yeah, I'm sorry. 
Where is that? Squad Commander. Full art. Okay, let's go, let's go. <clears throat> Are you kidding me? Cherix. Let's go. Cherix is pretty, though. Very pretty. I feel so pretty, oh so witty, in gay. Bop, 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 bop. Anger management, anybody? Remember, can you resend me the tracking link in website to check? All right, let's go, let's go. Here we go. Get on it. Bang! Yeah! There we go. There's a nice hat. There we go. Just if it looked good. River wine pathway. River glide pathway. All right, here we go. I'm going to flip it around. That's beautiful. I love these full arts. These are nice. All right, here we go. All or nada. All or nada. What are we going to get? Ooh, what is it? What is it? Ooh, Zara. Okay, not so much. It's a very pretty card, though. That's dope. All right. So, thank you, Kraken Packs MTG. Yeah, I dissed the card, some cards, but all around, that wasn't a bad bundle. I'm still happy. I'm happy. Get lucky. Uh. That makes a sapling from visions, I think. <laughs> uh, hey, C Train, how are you? How's life? Thank you for showing up. Appreciate you. We got 24 likes. You guys are rocking it. All right. Here we go. Devin, good luck, bro. And uh, anything a bucket or above, I'll send you. Yeah, that sounds good. Before I crack it, <sighs> gonna stretch. Yes, bless you. Yes, I'm blessing. Um, fetchy. Let's go. Let's do this. Tornado Joe, thank you for being here still. You guys are rocking it, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. We got some foiliness in here, mister. I cannot promise you, Devin, that it won't, they won't curl, okay? That's one thing that, it's a disclaimer before you open any product. Regular foils can curl. <laughs> Ding, ding, with that shooting star that goes across the screen. Oh, oh. All right. Roost, Roost of Drakes. That is the uncommon. Bang, bang. Very cool. Spikefield Hazard. Here we go. Spikefield Hazard. Flip it around. Very nice. Very nice. Then we got the planes. Oh, come on, baby. Come on. Rare. Ooh, that's a nice one. I like the Yehenny. Yehenny's pretty cool. All right. Next on our list. Rare. Throne of McKinney. Let's do this. All right. Next on the list is our common. Throne of McKinney artwork is pretty, very pretty, though. Let's go, let's go. Common. All right. Send that over here. All right. Here we go. Good luck to Devin, and I want you to pull something dirty. Get it. Dirty. Let's 
Skyclave Shade. Okay. We still got a couple cards to go through. And then we got where's that going? That's going over there. Here we go. Let's do this. Get nothing but dirtiness. Let's go, let's go. Then a mythic. It's a rare. There we go. Nice hit. Nice hit. Oh, there you go. Skyclave Apparition, dude. Devin, that's a great hit. Congratulations, bro. That's pretty sick. I don't have one of those. That's beautiful. Very pretty. Yeah. Let's get that. Get it. Don't stop. Get it. Get it. There we go. Congratulations, bro. Going into a, a sleeve as we speak. That is decent. Decent pull. And let's see here. I'm going to send you the spike field hazard. Or do you want all the rares, bro? Does that work? Or was there something specific that you wanted me to send you? Yeah, I have good ice cream luck. Yes, you do. This I haven't seen you pull anything else, but this was pretty good. Um, yeah, just send the rares. Okay. Appreciate that. There we go. So I'm sending you the Skyclave Shade, Throne of McKinney Foil, and the Henny Full Art Topper stuff. I do like to put the foils in the back. So, you know, the Skyclave uh, Shade will be in the front, and your Apparition is going to be in the back. And you know what? I'll put it right in the middle. Because that is a card of value, so I'd rather put it someplace that it less have to get damaged if damage was to occur. There we go. And I already have your info, I believe. Yes, from the last email. Thank you, bro. That's awesome. I don't know what it's worth. It's at least a good amount of money, though. That was pretty tight. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was awesome. Thank you, Kraken Packs MTG. Make sure you guys go thank him. Tell me rocks. I want to thank all these in Grim Entertainment. Thank you for swinging by. Um, all the great channels that have swung by. Clever Magic Community. Jester King. Um, Justin I. Thank you, bro. Without you, I wouldn't be here. So I've got 800 subs thanks to you. Okay? And I appreciate it. And you have a great night, bro. All right. That is for Devin. Where's the marker? Thank you, DJL. Yes, thank you, DJL. He's He sent some awesome cards my way. Those coins are tight um so yes he sent me the angel of destiny is that okay if i give that away give that away or you want me to keep those cards dj yes thank you guys i appreciate it this was a great stream I'll keep it if it's, I don't want to hurt your feelings. That's what I'm getting at. If you sent them to me to have, then I will keep it. But if not, I'll give it away to one of my viewers. You might get it back. <laughs> All right. Hell yeah, pause. Love to check it when I can, bro. Got to go make a box opening video. There you go. Good luck. I uh, can't decide if I should do another pain for the drain or crack a box of brown. I'm needing a steam vents. I can't believe I didn't pull any. I, I know I did, but I can't find them. 
I'm in need of a steam vents. But it is what it is. Uh, sub to your entertainment. Nice job, Tyler. Thank you, dude. So this is Devin. T E V E N. On twenty twenty one. Thanks, Devin. I hope you enjoyed that pack cracking. That was awesome. I want to. Oh, I'm gonna leave it in there so it doesn't get scratched up because that was beautiful. It really is. Thank you, the fish. Appreciate you cracking, uh, coming over and watching me crack packs. It was great to have you. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a great time tonight, you guys. And uh, I appreciate everybody here. I really do. I would not be here without you guys. So you guys make it possible. Muchos gracias. Let's go. All right. I'm seeing all the cards. Have a good one. Love. Fish. You lucky bro. Did the giveaway already happen? Or is it happening soon? So you're going to comment on tonight's video, and then I'll enter you into the big giveaway. That's how that's happening. Easy peasy. You don't understand it? Go watch the video, and tonight's video, and then comment on it. And then let me know. You'll be entered. <laughs> Uh, either way, happy with today. I'm glad you had a great day, Devin. That's awesome. Thank you. All right. That will go into the give. No. Yeah. I'll see the name and I'll send them out to you. So we got the turn, turn to symbiosis. And what else did we get? We got a mythic out of Ravnica. This was a pretty good opening, I think. I hope you guys had a great time. So that turn timber symbiosis will go into the giveaway. Thanks to Cracker Packs MTG. And uh, the Lava Glide Pathway and uh, the Kaza. Look at that. And it matches, though. Look at that. So red and blue. What the heck? I'll be right back. Pause for cause. Okay, sorry about that. Yo. Yo. Oh. All right, that was an alarm that my son set on his tablet. Funny. So yeah, red and blue, red and blue. I think I'll put that right together. That's pretty cool, huh? That'll be a nice little giveaway for the one of the four winners. Let's see here. Whoop whoop. Sounds <laughs> sounds like the popo. <laughs> Mega metal popping in. How are you, dude? That's all right. It's popo. Come. I have nothing to hide. I'm I'm legal beagle, and I'm so grateful. All right, let's see here. Spitful. And you know what? That's awesome. Okay, so here we go. This spike field hazard, Kaza, Kaza, and the turn timber, the river glide pathway, Raza. In the spike field hazard. That's pretty good. Because it's foil. Oh, oh, look, think about that. Two flippy and one foily. That's I'd be dope happy with those three cards. Uh no, that was the only pack that I got extra. And I opened the Ravnica and returned to Ravnica, Ravnica Allegiance, and Ravnica. 
too many Ravnicas. Um, but that's all the packs that I have. You guys are wanting to do something like this? I uh, guess you'd have to actually just, I don't know. I guess I can start bringing a couple packs, you know, if you guys are wanting to sponsor them. I'm happy to do it a little bit. I don't have a lot, but I will do what I can. So, yeah. These are going to go. That foil you can see there. Let's go there. I will give that angel token away as well. In the foily planes, that's three cards. I think four is the limit. All right. There we go. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go to Crack and Packs MTG and tell them thank you for hooking Paz's Casa up with the that bundle. That was totally all him. And, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for showing up. Have a great night. It's been two hours. I'm pretty beat and I'm ready for bed, I think. Or at least I want to calm down because we get hyped around here. I had fun talking about coins too, you guys. This, this was great. Uh, we should chat after the stream. Okay. I mean, he says he's legal, but that's what he wants. <laughs> yes. See my tinfoil hat? <laughs> to trade? Um, I really don't, actually. The only thing I might think about getting rid of would be uh, this bio quartz from my Korea. The rest of my uh, fetchies or whatever I have, because I've got the Cavern of Souls, I got the Bloodstained Mire, Fet, uh, Flooded Strand, Arid Mesa, Bloodstained Mire, Scalding Tarn, Spire Garden, and Celestial Colonnade, and then the Luxury Suite. Those are all my firsts, so I want to keep them. If I had older ones, then I might get rid of them for trade or something. But, yeah, I'm going to hold on to them. I got the – this is my favorite hit from Double Masters right here. The doubling season. That's why it's still in this case because it's dirty. Just like that lovely, lovely, lovely – Foily boy, and then oh, double vision, double vision. <laughs> yes, that was a great hit, and I was happy that some people saw it. And then uh, when 21, of course, that 21 came out, I was pretty lucky because I pulled uh, the regular one, Oogie. Then the pre release kit, Oogie. And then I got this lovely beast right here, Foily Boy. Oh, I love it. I love, I love Oogin. The blue color, you know, it's just awesome. I have a pack foil from doubling season I got for my birthday to you. Two, two years ago. Oh, is it a DCI or something? Is that what that is, Dane? I might, uh, oh, I don't know if I should. I, I'm almost thinking about trading, or I'd rather sell it, but the stained glass carn, I might think about selling it. 
I'd rather not, though. <laughs> Oh, did I do that wrong? Where's the other ones? Let's see here. Dark Steel, Dark Steel. Welcome to Lista. Why did I take that out? I think it goes like something like this. Yep. Okay. It was Battle Bond. Oh, nice. That one's pretty sick, too, though. I don't have a foil one of those. I did pull one from Battlebond, but it's not foil. Can you do a shout out for my small YouTube channel? What's it called, bro? Is it the fish? What's your channel name, bro? That was great to me. I did all right when I cracked open uh, Battle Bond. When it, so when Dominary came out, I think Battle Bond was like before it or was it after it? I'm not remembering properly. But right around the same time, I, I picked up some packs and cracked them and didn't know what I had until after the fact. Because I dove right in head first into MTG and I learned a bunch of stuff off the cuff it was before okay that's what I thought but I wasn't sure I have a stained glass bolus what dark raven you do that's so awesome I'm happy for you that's a beautiful card congratulations to Mark for winning uh the giveaway tonight. Uh, really, I love Dominaria. I, I really do. I'm planning it. I'm thinking about getting a case of it. But if not, I want to get like at least four four boxes. Like hold on to three of them, not crack them, keep them sealed. Night Mega Metal, thank you for stopping by. Appreciate you. Um, Let's see here. Where is it? Um, the fish, what's your name? Your ch channel name, bro. Oh, so go check out the fish. The fish. The fish. Go check him out. I'll probably do that after I get off here. Since he came to my show, I'll go check you out, bro. I don't BS anybody. I'll tell you what I think. and I know I'm not the best. Nowhere near it. But I'm putting effort in. And you guys obviously enjoy it. And I, I appreciate that. I really do. I enjoy giving these things away. It's about sharing is caring. Paying it forward. Giving back to the community that you're in. We're all family. Got to treat each other good. Um, you can't believe I pulled those miscut cards. That's the first time I've done that. Hagger Constrictor. And Reclaim the Waste. That's dirty. Huh. <laughs> uh, I pulled everything but the alternate art walkers from Battle Bond. Alternate art walkers, huh? I didn't know they had alternate art walkers in Battle Bond. We'll go. go ahead and put your uh, fish, put your uh, YouTube channel link right in the right in the notes here in the live chat. Uh, 
I believe it is that time. Yep. See it? It's that time. So I'm going to skedaddle. Is it really? Oh, my God. We've been on two hours. Okay. It's almost midnight. I appreciate everybody that's been here. Really. This is great. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 800. We're going to... We're hitting... I'm calling it 1,000. Let's get to 900 and crack that layer, okay? Um, don't forget to tell somebody you love them, you know? I don't think we tell people enough that enough these days, even though we're right next to the person normally because we're so close confined. You know, we just expect that they're always going to be there, and sometimes they're not. So you got to tell them that beforehand. Stay positive. Keep pushing forward. Wear the mask. Breaker, breaker, one nine. Thanks for coming to Pauses Casa. Stay safe. And I'm out. Peace. Thank you, guys. Have a good night.